Welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser. This is the Talos Principle again. So, I'm aware this thing's making a beep boop at me, which will presumably, because I finished all the uh, all the levels in this area, I suspect it will probably be Milton again asking me something stupid. I have to pay very close attention to Audacity at the moment, it has a tendency to play silly buggers on me. But it's hard to tell whether it's frozen because it's taking time to catch up, or whether it's going to completely screw me and I've missed several seconds of audio again. So that's going to be fun to find out in the edit, isn't it? So, we'll deal with Beep Boop in a second, because there is something I, uh, I've kind of been putting off. So if you look at the top centre of the screen, which I can't really point at because <laughs> everything moves, you'll see that I have 11 gold stars. So... There are special rooms you can go to, to use those gold stars, which I did briefly show in a previous video. Um, and you use them all up to enter, at which point you have puzzles. Oh crap, everything froze. Jesus. Video's only just started and I've had two potential editing glitches I'm going to have to deal with later. Joy. Okay. So, yes, that's the um, agendum for the day. Attempt to get one of those uh, gold star rooms done. Because... They are an absolute pain in the arse, if memory serves. They are excruciatingly difficult. Which again, makes no sense, given that that's the reward for that is a hint to significantly less difficult puzzle. Anyway, let's see what Milton wants. Hello Milton, how are you today? Ah, good. Ah, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you said, I'm certain someone has to. Well, yeah, that's much appreciated, buddy. What I've decided is that you've convinced me consciousness is a contradictory concept and is therefore not real. What do you think? I don't, apparently. Um, I think you're cheating. I don't think you're right. I don't see how this impacts me. I don't. <laughs> well, I, if memory serves, your part of your conviction that consciousness is contradictory is because you don't understand how physics works. So, I think that you not understanding it is not the same as it not being a real thing. So I'm going to go with I think you're cheating. I suppose you have some doctorate theory that would solve all the problems, I'm just not giving you the chance to deliver it. You should see which way the cookie crumbles before trying to take a bite out of it. This actually works in your favour. What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. You can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore you along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator privileges. Okay, so you are cheating, just cheating in my favor. Baller. Downloading. No doubt, you'll be off doing administrative things soon enough, so I wonder if before I let you go, you'll do me one favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? I'm trying to do what God wants. I want the truth. There's a way the world should be, and this isn't it. I want out of here. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a few ways we can take this. So we're not doing... God is telling us to do it, but we've already established that we don't really do it because he tells us to. We do it because there's not much else to do. If we were doing what he told us to, we wouldn't have even tried going up the Tower of Death. So to be honest, I think my main motivation for uh, this particular robot is he wants to know everything. I want the truth. I'm not sure what you'll find. A malleable sense of the truth will no doubt help you make sense of it. And it looks as if your ideas are going somewhat pliant. Very good. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? No doubt. No doubt I'll have to. No. Is that... Is no doubt saying yes? Because I want to say yes. I like Milton. Milton is fun. Okay, essential. He could get going. Let's do this. Updating. Updating. The user profile has never been generated. Yay! Congratulations, your cannon been updated. Here are the details. All conflicts resolved. Like on profile. You are a perfect. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can. Oh, you are everything you can be already. You don't have to pretend you are anything else. 
You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Taking the piss a bit there, aren't you, Milton, you bastard? <laughs> so, I'm an administrator now. Great. Can I talk to the snake again? The serpent. Hello, administrator. I think you'd like assistance assessing the communications portal. I'll see that you have a number of pending communications. I'll take a look at it right now. Hey, we connected. Message received as string. Alright. Message. Hello. Who are you? Where are you? Are you a person? Well, <laughs> they've got a administrator from um, privilege if they're using this. Since they had it before us, it's safe to say that the thing as um, Milton had assessed them as a person. However, Milton has recently changed his um, criteria and will give a rock administrator privileges if it's convincing enough now, apparently. So let's ask, who are you? Because that's his own Who are you? Don't know exactly. Woke up here, don't remember. Who are you? Same boat, let's meet up. I'm a person, you know what that means. Not telling this place is lies. Um. Let's just, yeah, let's meet him. I'm much the same boat. Shall we meet up? Message, I understand. Pending. Error. Pending. Pending. Hashtag again soon. Connection lost. Right. Well, that raises more questions than answers, but that's supposed to be this game in a nutshell, isn't it? Right. Supposed to be philosophy in a nutshell now I think about it. Moving on. Let's go. Okay, let's go do the stars of death. Is Elohim going to yell at me again? I get the feeling Elohim's going to yell at me again. No. Hooray! Now, I could do. I've got two options with these stars. I can do either. This gold star room, or the one in the first building. I... Wait, that puzzle is there? Whatever. Now, I think I'm going to go and do the one in the first building... ...for basically no reason. So I've got two, two options to choose from. I don't know if there's any order to doing them. Oh, please don't bug it yourself again, Audacity. Audacity froze again for a minute there. That's very unsettling. So, I don't even know if you heard anything I've been saying for the last few seconds, minutes, whatever. Okay. What was I saying now I think about it? Oh, yes. Um, I don't know if there's an order to the Gold Star rooms, but I'm going to assume that there is, and that the first one will be the easiest... Oops, wrong button. And since I remember the Gold Star rooms being particularly difficult, I will go for the easiest one and work my way up. Seriously, Audacity, again. Okay. Gold Star room. Over here. Into the room. Ah. I really hate doing Look at all the star pieces. Okay. Start putting things in. And really hope it doesn't take an age. Uh, okay, so uh, put it here. this piece will needs to go there. Da, 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 da. That'll go there. That will have to go. Here, this will have to go there. Oh, fuck it, be sideways. Did I do it first time? I thought that would take longer. I was convinced I was going to have to put a, uh, a speed up on the edit there. Neat. So, let us have a look. Once the game loads, at least. Of the special gold star island of Ireland. There we are. Oh, another you have solved many of the ah, mysteries geez. of this land. 
The road before you is still long and many gates remain closed. But take comfort in your accomplishment and in your creator's pride. Um, Elohim? Don't mean to tell you how to do your job, buddy, but you don't seem to have loaded a couple of... Oh, you loaded that text in now, but, uh... Could you take the blur filter off the sky box? I can see the corners. Almost there, Elohim. One more to do. Yes, I know you're beep booping at me. Shut up. Oh well. Apparently there are grey blocks that way. This island is bigger than I remember it being. What do you want? Telos, human blood, archive important, and an image. Right, let's start with the Telos email. From Alexandra Drennan. Have you heard of the Talos Principle? It's this old philosophical concept about the... Oh. Really, my mouse is on screen, where'd that come from? I wasn't there a minute ago. I suspect Bandicam was recording that because I set it up that way for Punch Club and didn't change it back again because I didn't think it would appear. Oh, bugger me. I apologise if that's been anywhere in the record there, viewers. Let's uh, try that again. Have you heard of the Talos Principle? It's this old philosophical concept about the impossibility of avoiding reality. No matter what you believe, if you lose your blood, you will die. Technically speaking, the Talos Principle is not an old philosophical concept. It's a game that's made in... When was this game made? 2014, maybe? 2015? I don't know. I can't remember. Yes, and it's not a philosophical concept, you kind of made it up for the sake of the game. Never mind. I think that applies to our situation more than we'd like to admit. We can close our eyes and pretend that everything's going to be alright, but it won't change the physical reality of what's going to happen to our... You know, it occurs to me, those... Uh... When I did the New Year's um, bonus episode, there were a couple of... Um... Some of the codes were in that sort of uh, hexadecimal code thing. I wonder what would happen if I put those numbers into one of those converters. Audacity, seriously, you're doing this again. If I've lost any audio from this again, I'm going to be really annoyed. I don't really, I'm running out of ideas about how to try and make a joke out of it, because now it's just irritating. Right, okay, so yes, um, if I remember, at some point I'll put those numbers into a hexadecimal converter thing and see if that actually gives any information, or whether it's just, oh, no, uh, error message noise. I think that, as scientists, it's our duty to face the truth, to ask ourselves the most important question, how can we help? I think I have an idea. Regards, Alexander. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for a moment there. I'm hoping I can get a screenshot of that from my edit now. Put those numbers in and see if I can. So while doing the edit, I took the numbers from the screen that uh, we we just left, um, put them all into a converter online, uh, manually entered them all, because I'm an idiot who forgot I could probably have just Googled what the answer was, if there was one. Uh, and it turns out that it is in code, Unfortunately, it's not encoding the bi missing bits of the message that we can see. Uh, it turns out it is... Well, I'll tell you what it says. It says, No man is liberated from fear who dare not see his place in the world as it is. No man can achieve the greatness of which he is capable until he has allowed himself to see his own littleness. Clearly, it's a, a quote of some description. So I did do a Google, because I remember that existed, as I said. <laughs> Uh, and it turns out that that was a quote from Bertrand Russell uh, from his Skeptical Essays. That is literally the entirety of the information I have from here. Okie dokie, back to the show! Okay, not important. Human blood. It is said by some that our blood is composed of infinite living agents which go up and down the highways and byways of our bodies as people in the streets of a city. More noise. One generation passeth away and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever, function, more numbers, and the sleep of the town, how like, how lifelike, with its change in the circulation. Butler Samuel. We are misled by considering any 
complicated machine as a single thing. In truth, it is a city or society, each member of which was bred truly after its kind. Alright. Ooh, something important in the archive. Okay, and I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know what I want. So you know that I know what I'm talking about. I don't know you. You could be, I don't know, the equivalent of that guy from InfoWars. I realise that you're all working on projects meant to somehow avert the catastrophe we are facing, but you must all concede that there is a very real possibility that you will not have enough time to find a solution. I believe that we cannot afford to ignore an extinction or near extinction scenario. We must prepare for the worst. That is to say, we must seek to preserve the non-biological components of what cons constitutes the human species, in the hope they will be recovered in the future by other local or non-local sentients. I know that we are not used to thinking on that scale, not in terms of praxis, but if we truly value humanity, then we must act immediately. You'll find the details of my proposal in the attachment. The short version is this. The creation of multiple archives for redundancy, in safe locations that will contain, in digital form, as much information about our species, including all cultural works, scientific insights, history, DNA, as can be gathered in the given time frame. This will be a massive global undertaking, noise with EL naturally being one of the like error cannot find attachment. So no new information in any of these it would seem. Hey look it's a Tower of Death! That's literally all that is. I don't I don't know if I'm missing something there. Okay, right. Uh seven stars that what? What if I'm missing something with this? Whatever. So, let's go puzzle. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see grey symbols on a grey background there, game. Right, let's start with this one. Jams from within. There it is. Okay, so we've got some keys over there. We've got bugger all over here. So to get those keys, I need to go around the corner. Oh, and everything's frozen for a second there. Let's hope. Okay, so I've got jammer. Keys, I think, it must be behind that jammer there. So this is being jammed from right there. I appear to have gone around in a circle. Oops. Oh, exploding friend. Hit off, which is... Okay. Jam and get. Okay, explode. Friend, not being friendly. If I jam that, no, nope, I didn't mean to jam that. I want to jam that, really. Okay. Hmm. So here's the problem. If I jam this gate, I'll be able to get through it, but I won't be able to get past this, so... What to do, what to do... Let the game freeze, apparently. I'll give you a thinking moment, I suppose. Okay. I'm an idiot, it's being stopped by the wall. So I need to let it go through the wall. Now I can follow it. Oh, that, that was such a bloody simple solution for an idiot. Now I can go around this corner. The game's frozen again. Jesus Christ, I'm having no, all sorts of bloody issues with this computer today. Okay, so now I'm on this side of the door. 
my jammer will now be trapped on the other. Oh, what's up here? Um, sorry, what? Oh, neat. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it this way, I think. We're gonna have to open this. Wait till something comes through. That one. Now it's over there. And then I'm gonna have to do it again with the other little bugger. Also, I can get a set of keys. And hopefully, in letting this one through here, I don't unwittingly send this one back to, to him. Alright. There we are. Right. Jobs are good, then. Really, give you that again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Acquired keys. Acquired jammer. Eh, let's just let them both in here. Okay, they're in here. Right, go in there. Just so you're out of my bloody way. Done. Open. Hey. Hey. No. Right. So now I slowly follow this. Okay. I can tell the door's locked. I've got the... I got the keys. I got the keys. What? But the key symbol is at the bottom of the screen. I can see. I got the keys. Are they the wrong keys? This, but since when did this game work that way? Locked. That's why I have keys. What the hell is going on? See the key. The keys were there. I have them. I have the key to. What? Another door? No, there's another set of keys. What? The hell keys did I pick up then? Very confused. Oh, I've got the keys for this. Oh, thanks for making that obvious game. Give me that. Ah, oh, you're doing a zigzag path. That is weird and annoying. I'll get around this corner before it blows me to buggery. Okay, are these the right set of keys now, game? So if it's going over there, I can go over here. Keys get. Nice. That was a bad design, game. You can't, shouldn't have two identical sets of keys in a single problem like that. Right. Oh, for the love of, there are six puzzles in this area. So if I get all six of these puzzle pieces, uh, 
I have a happy bunny now. Yay! How do I... Yeah! No, don't throw it on the floor. Use it! No, but... How do I... I want to swing. Let's jump. Oh, I bet it's contextual. I'll have to get to a point with the wooden blocks and smash it with an axe. Unfortunately, I don't know where those wooden blocks are. Oh, wait, a fan. No, no. I want to be there with the axe. Whee! Oh. Dum dum mine. I didn't mean to enter a puzzle. Though I'm willing to bet I couldn't have entered here with the axe. So this is the way of getting in here with it. If there's a place in here to use this axe, then I know I'm going along the right lines. Unfortunately, I appear to be attempting to solve puzzles before identifying there was a puzzle to be solved, so, uh... Oops. Unfortunately, I can't divide anything in here. Okay, I can chop trees down. This is an excellent use of my time. Okay, that tiny lock, why can't I just break that with the axe? I know that would be game breaking, but... <laughs> Chopping down trees. I'm a lumberjack, I'm okay, work your night and play. Wait. I can't actually remember how that song goes. I know it ends with... Uh, I have the whole tree? Is this actually working? Oh yeah, it is, cool. Why am I doing this? Oh, don't fall on my head. I broke a tree. Is there a purpose to me doing that? No. So there was a thing in that tree, there isn't. I'm just messing around now. This video is way too long for me to uh, actually do anything else in, really. I just found an axe and wanted to use the axe, so... Okay. In terms of this uh, particular puzzle, I think I'm on the right lines if I use, you need to use the fan to bypass the... Uh, the purple. Again, I'm just wondering if there's any purpose to chopping these trees down. Oh, I might as well do that while I'm talking. So I think I need to find something in the overworld and use that fan to get it into the puzzle over here. Unfortunately, I don't think this axe is the item I require. It's just the item I happen to be holding at the time. So... Yeah, a weird effect in the air there. Oh, it's gone. Never mind. Okay. So I guess I'll be doing that uh, in the next episode. Yeah, see, so I tend to go through here with the axe, means the axe is now trapped on this side. In fact, this is the puzzle the axe was next to. Maybe there is something I need to do with it in there? I don't know. It's in there now, and I can't get it out, so... Um, okay, I guess I'll figure that out in the next episode. Uh, this is going to take more time than I had. So, a little fun fact here, viewers. As you've probably noticed throughout the, the course of this episode, I kept looking over at Audacity and seeing things going horribly, horribly wrong, uh, which came to a head when I attempted to uh, stop the Bandicam record, at which point pretty much everything crashed. Um, Bandicam being the only thing that was functioning, but... Talos principle stopped working, Audacity completely stopped working. Uh, even when I brought the task manager up to attempt to resolve some issues, that immediately stopped working. The, tax, the task bar at the bottom of the, the Windows um, screen, that stopped working. So I noticed that five minutes later when I realised the time had just stopped working as well. So everything went to pot at the end of the, um, the record there. So I was able to salvage the majority of the audio, once I managed to reboot um, Audacity, 
and then the entire computer, because even rescuing the audio seemed to upset Audacity. Um, but the audio stopped very abruptly where you heard it. It only missed a couple of seconds, I think, but the end result is it completely missed me saying goodbye to, to you all. Um, and annoyed me so much that I felt that I needed to rant at it on the internet for a few minutes and waste more of your, I'd say precious time, but you're watching my video, so clearly your time isn't that precious to you. So, yes, that's, this, this video has just been computer problem after computer problem. And I don't know why, the computer's decent. I mean, it's not exactly top of the range, and it is a year or two old now, I suppose. But most of the time, it functions fine. And every now and then, Audacity will just go, no, no, I'm not going to work for you. I mean, you see how many times that um, the game froze in the middle of all this. Um, and if the game freezing and Audacity playing up happened at the same time, I'd sort of understand that, and it would kind of be easier. But no, it would be, the Talos would stop working, then it would start working, and then a few minutes or so later, Audacity would stop doing anything, and then it would start doing things again. It's just been a problem after a problem after a problem. Um, so if any of the audio is a little out of sync as a result of that, I'm dreadfully sorry. I've done the best I can to snip out um, quiet patches and push everything together to keep things in sync. But uh, certainly the further into the video I got, the harder that became because there was less and less to work with in terms of um, synchronising. So thank you for putting up with all this, viewers. Let's, let's put it that way. Uh, so... Instead of my usual, just abrupt ending, I figured I'd, I'd actually say thank you. Okay. Now you can go. Bye! Oh god, I said I wasn't going to do the abrupt ending. Oh well. I'll rectify it with this noise. <laughs>